All right, here's the question we should all be asking, but probably won't. If someone gives a gun to a known criminal, and that criminal goes out and commits murder with that gun, are they responsible or complicit in that crime? During the Obama administration, there was a moratorium, or in layman's terms, a ban on research into gain-of-function viruses, not unlike COVID-19. And during that ban, Obama released the basic version of this virus to China and $3.5 million to research it. It isn't like he didn't know what it was for. There was already a ban on that kind of research here in the U.S. at that time. And seeing as how they couldn't complete the work here because of that ban, they gave it to their deep state buddies over in China, whose job was to complete the work that was started here, weaponize it, and at a later date, apparently, release it on the world. So not only did Obama give the known criminal, China, the gun, he gave them the money to commit the crime. And each and every one of us in this time is paying the price for that piss-poor decision. I would submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, that is, he is not only complicit in this crime. When you follow the trail back to the beginning, he's responsible for it. And just how many people have to die before justice is served, if ever? And just how obvious does it have to be why they try to undermine the current president, considering what hangs in the balance? I've said this before on several occasions, and I have absolutely no problem repeating it. They can't stop. They won't stop. Their crimes are too great. And collectively... The entire world needs to pull their heads out of their asses and realize what's at stake. For you, the few that will actually get to watch this video, your future, your freedom, your life.